Hey everyone, today we have a special episode covering most frequently counterfeited US coins to help collectors and rookie dealers identify coins, so-called top 10 US counterfeit coins. This video is created upon counterfeit detection article provided by NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Company. Eighteen ninety three S Morgan dollar. The famous key date Morgan dollar rounds out the top ten counterfeits most commonly seen by NGC. With a mintage of mere hundred thousand coins, this coin is worth well into five figures at every grade of AU fifty or higher. For instance, this stunning specimen with full remarkable strike was sold for record of seven hundred thirty five thousand dollars in twenty eighteen at Sotheby's. With such huge profit potential for counterfeiters, 1893p coins are often sacrificed in order to create an 1893s. Nearly all of the fakes seen by NGC graders have had S mint marks added to Philadelphia coins. Outright counterfeits are sometimes seen at NGC as well, but are usually as not as deceptive as the added mint mark examples can be. So how to distinguish fake from the true? Here are some tips for you. Check for the tool marks and discoloration around the mint mark. The presence of either is an indication that the S may have been added. Look for unusually weak details. Compare any contact marks against known fakes. The 1925D Gold Quarter Eagle is another example of a common coin that has still been extensively counterfeited. This date had one of higher mintage of entire series at 578,000 coins. Most valuable specimen at circulated the AU58 grade was sold at Heritage in 2005 for over $66,000. As was the case with a few gold coins higher on this list, these fakes were often made in order to deceive collectors. Here are some tips on how to identify the counterfeit. Check for the tool marks in the recesses at the back of Indian's neck. Heavy tool marks are often seen around the perimeter of the counterfeit. Look for unusual weak details. The 1915 $5 gold Indian had a mintage of just under 600,000 pieces. With this large of a mintage, it's relatively common Indian half eagle. However, higher grade examples of this date are still worth much more than value of the gold in the coin. Due to this difference in value, counterfeiters have created many fakes in order to deceive collectors. Check for tool marks in recesses at the back of Indian neck. Look for unusual weak details. Compare any marks against known fakes. The Philadelphia Mint did not strike any Lincoln since in 1922. However, an overzealous Denver Mint worker over polished some dies leading to 1922D Lincoln cents, which have had the mint marks removed. While the 1922 Lincoln is relatively common, the 1922 No-D is much more scarce and valuable. Due to this value difference, an unscrupulous person can efface the D from a coin and makes the coin appear much more valuable. Now how to distinguish fake from the real one? Here are some tips. Check for the tool marks below the date. A common alteration is to remove the meat mark from the genuine 1922 D. Lincoln scent. Look for unusual strong details. In this case, genuine 1922 No D Lincoln scents are typically seen with weak details as a result of striking error. Strong details are common indication that the coin is actually 1922D. A bold struck in God would trust is particularly important diagnostic. Nineteen eleven quarter eagle is actually one of the most common dates of the entire series with mintage of seven hundred four thousand pieces. However, the numismatic value still far outweighs the intrinsic value of the gold. 
Counterfeiters have seized upon the difference to make fakes that are actually the correct weight in gold, but are fake nonetheless. It's believed that many of these fakes likely originated in the Middle East in 1960s. So how to distinguish them? Check for the tool marking recesses at the back of Indian's neck. Heavy tool marks are often seen around the perimeter of counterfeits. Look for unusual weak details. The most commonly seen 1883 gold three dollar counterfeit is one produced by so-called Omega Man. The calling card for these fakes is tiny Omegle symbol. On this particular counterfeit, the symbol is found inside the loop of the R in Liberty. These were likely created in the 1970s in order to deceive collectors. Heavy tool marks are often seen around the perimeter of counterfeits. Look for unusual weak details. Compare any depressions against known fakes. Check for minuscule Omega symbol in the R of Liberty. This was used as a call sign of one counterfeiter. While not quite as desirable as 1909 SVDB, the 1914 D. Lincolnson actually has a smaller surviving population. This makes the 1914 D a prime target for counterfeiters. The most commonly seen fakes are outright counterfeits, but the added mint marks and date alterations, usually from 1944 descents, are relatively common as well. Here are some tips on how to distinguish them. Look for unusual weak details. Compare the position and shape of mint mark to know the genuine examples. Added D counterfeiters often use wrong mint mark style. Look for the large gap between 9 and the second one in date. 1944 descents are commonly altered to appear as 1914 descents, but these leave too much space between the first two digits and the last two digits. 1914 Indian Quarter Eagle The 1914 Gold Quarter Eagle has the second lowest mintage in the Indian Head series after elusive 1911D issue. Only 240,000 pieces were struck and today they are highly sold by collectors, especially in uncirculated grades. Unfortunately, there are also lots of counterfeits of this date. Many of these fakes have been in the market since 1960s and continue to deceive collectors and dealers today. Check for tool marks in recesses at the back of the Indian neck. Heavy tool marks are often seen around the perimeter of the counterfeits. Look for unusually weak details. The 1916D is a famous key date in the extremely popular Mercury Dime series. This popularity has resulted in significant values. The most valuable regular struck Mercury Dime with no full bands was sold in 2007 for $29,900 at Stacks Auction. The Philadelphia 1916 is quite common and affordable in comparison, as this gives the counterfeiters the opportunity to add a tiny D mint mark to make it appear to be the rare 1916D. In addition to added mint mark fakes, complete counterfeits are also frequently seen. Compare the position and shape of mint mark to know the genuine examples. Added D counterfeiters often use wrong mint mark style. Look for unusual weak details. And the last one, 1909 SVDB Lincoln cent, the most frequently counterfeited US coin. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln coin is considered one of the most popular US coins. This popularity has led it to become most commonly altered and counterfeited collectible coin in the world, according to submissions to NGC. For a counterfeiter, the addition of simple, small design element and S meat mark or VDB initials can make a very cheap coin appear to be worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. The frequency with which these forgeries are seen make it essential to thoroughly inspect any 1909 SVDB Lincoln cent. Compare the position of meat mark to one of four rightful positions. If it does not match, the coin is almost certainly not genuine. Check for the tool marks around S and VDB. Look for unusual weak details. 
In addition, all authentic examples will have a mint mark that features a small raised dot inside of top curve of the S. Once again, this video is based on article provided by NGC. If you like this presentation, please hit subscribe and thumbs up below. See you in the next episode.